Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Live Trading Action by In The Money Stocks. Today is November 10th, 2015. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in. All right, a stock we're going to talk about today is going to be Nordstrom. And uh, one of the things that we're seeing here in the retail sector is that we're seeing a lot of stocks really get hammered. Ticker symbol JWN is Nordstrom. And you're going to see that this stock traded as high as $80 a share back in uh, July. And it's now down to around 63 and change. Uh, today, it's having a little bit of a bounce day, but ultimately, this is not yet the buy level. Some other leading retailers out here like Macy's have really come under pressure as well. You can see Macy's topped out in July at over $72. That stock's now trading around $46. Recently, Target has come under some severe pressure. You can see that stock topped out in June around uh, $85, and now it's trading around $76. So we got a lot of different stocks out here. Walmart was another one that really fell from grace. Walmart, you could see even as, as going back as uh, even earlier in the year, has really just declined, was trading over $90 a share. Now today, Walmart's trading at around $58. So again, we're seeing a lot of leading retail stocks getting hit pretty hard, but Nordstrom is the one that has me most interested, and that ticker symbol again is JWN. And what I look for in this stock is pretty simple. Um, we're looking at a stock trading below its 200-day moving average, its 50-day moving average, and its 20-day moving average. That tells me we're in a confirmed downtrend. So we don't want to be buyers here yet. But what we want to do is we want to go over to our bigger time frames. You'll see that we consolidated for about three months above the 200-day moving, 200-week uh, moving average, and we pierce through there, and we're getting a little bit of a bounce. That level, believe it or not, is not major; it's minor. But a level that is major, if you go to your monthly chart, is pretty evident. And all you got to do is look right here and where the stock broke out. And what you're going to see here is that the stock really. Um, broke out around between 58 and $60 a share. And you're going to say, well, how do, you, how do you come up with that? How do you see that level? Well, let's scroll back the hands of time just a little bit more here. And what you're going to see here now is that this was a big, big pivot going back to uh, February of 2007. That high right there was at $55.99. Let's just call it 60 bucks. So we know the breakout really took place around $60. But here you're going to see we t tried to break out, we came down, we rallied back up, came back down, rallied back up, finally finding low and then breaking out to new highs. So that tells me um, if we get a chance to get Nordstrom anywhere around $59, $58.50, this is our shot to own this equity. So I'll put the line in right there. You guys can see it for yourself. But this is exactly where you want to get involved. Now, it's hard to pick this one to the penny. Could it be 58.35? Could it be 58.50? Could it be 59.05? Yeah, anywhere in that area. But I'd say anywhere between 58.50 and $59 is where you want to get involved in this equity. So traders, keep that on your radar. When it happens, this is where you want to be a buyer. Again, uh, Nordstrom, come down to its breakout point. What's what markets love to do. They love to retest those levels. Again, right now, I know it looks like an interesting level here, but this is the better spot. You get this thing around $59, $58.50. This is where you want to jump all over it. So again, if you want to come and uh, see what we do here, come over to the Research, research, research Center take a seven-day free trial, get all of our trade setups, get all of our cycle work, get our No Hype Live broadcast. You'll also get all of our free content that we give out to our members each and every day. And uh, you'll be in the mix and you'll see everything that we're doing. We're having a great 2015 and we're going to look to keep that going. With that being said, everybody, I will see you all on the charts.